Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to provide a quick update since I haven't been recording for YouTube in quite a few weeks. So a few things have gone on. Number one, sold the Dodge Dart GT that was here. It was a 2015 model, well outfitted, but it had to go, had 73,000 miles on it, and it was starting to develop some issues, and I was like, it's time to go. So I took it to CarMax, they offered me seven grand for the car, I was happy with it, so that left the garage. We decided to replace that with a 2019 Volkswagen Jetta SEL, with the leather interior and the cold winter package, so it has the heated steering wheel. It's very well outfitted, gets excellent gas mileage. Uh, on a long trip, I've been getting over 40 miles to the gallon on the highway, and it's a gas engine, and it only requires 87 octane, so we've been very happy with that vehicle. So we're gonna have that on the channel here in the future as we're doing maintenance on it. But I also spent some time traveling. Have my Ford Explorer Sport Track here, the 2007 model. And what I do is I use this vehicle to help set up an event on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The reason that I have to use this is it's a 4x4. And the part of the Outer Banks of North Carolina that we travel to is only accessible with a 4x4. That is because the houses that we travel to are located directly off the beach. There's no other road to get there. You literally have to drive off the road, drive onto the beach, drive about a mile up, and then get to the house. So the reason we go there is for the other hobby that we have, which is dancing. And the name of the event is called Balboa Experiment. So I usually take the truck down there and help set it up and do a little bit of dancing. And then I come back to the event in order to participate in some of the dancing for myself. Well, this year, because of the world situation that's going on, we set it up right before things got very strict. And as soon as they started enabling some of the stay at home provisions, we needed to get back down there and get people out. Well, in the meantime, they decided to set up roadblocks and prevent people from actually getting to the Outer Banks. So I needed to go ahead and apply for a special permit through the county that controls access to the Outer Banks. And once we were able to get the special permit, we were able to take the vehicles down there and evacuate all the people, the goods, and all the supplies that we needed in order to stand this event up. So it was a six hour drive down and back twice in order to set it up and then immediately tear it down. But we were able to get it done and I feel really bad for the folks that couldn't participate this year, including myself, but it's very necessary that we maintain our social distancing during this time so that we can get through this epidemic. So I have a few things planned for the channel coming up. I did do some service on the transmission here of the Ford Explorer Sport Track, and that was because I actually had a transmission leak. And when I determined where the leak was coming from, it required several steps in order to repair it. And during the process, of course, ran into some problems. And of course there was sand everywhere from taking this thing onto the beach every year. So that introduced a little bit of an issue. So stay tuned for that video. Also, I'm gonna go through the process during the next couple weeks of buffing out all the cars in the garage. So I know the sport track here hasn't been done in quite a while, and I'm gonna to need to do some compounding and polishing. Uh, I know that the i8 needs a good polish, as well as the new VW Jetta, because it's never been polished. So once all that is done, I have some Avalon King ceramic coating that I'm gonna to apply to each of these vehicles as well. So we're gonna see about how all these things turn out over time. In addition, this car is due for a brake fluid change. So I went ahead and purchased the necessary equipment to get that done. So I'll be putting up a video fairly soon on how to replace the brake fluid in the BMW i8. I sure appreciate you sending me all the messages that I've received checking up on me. I have quite a few viewers that wondered, where have I been? And with the world situation going on right now, there has been some concern that I have may have taken ill. Well, I'm doing okay. I've just been extremely busy and hope to get some content uploaded here as soon as I can. So thanks for watching and happy motoring.